What's going down AMD family? Today we're going to be looking at the brand new AMD chipset 3.09.01.140 comes to us live right around the 13th and now mixed with the more solid Windows update we're going to see some pretty cool driver set there's a lot of support there's some benchmarks and a new one for the returning community members, so get excited. My name is Matt here with the MacGyver 7 channel, and today we're going to be tearing apart AMD's CPU and seeing what happens when you upgrade to the newer chipset. So let's go ahead and scroll into it. Looking right over here, we can see that right on the very mid of September it came into gameplay. All these listed down below are definitely sets that are supported. But let's go ahead and take a look at the notes. As you can see that it adds support for Windows 11. So if you did make the VIP list, that is going to be a chipset that you want to install for Windows 11. Now, for as far as known issues, there's manual reset requires non-English OS and the installation is completed. Windows and the installer and the pop-up message during the installation, as well as the uninstall, the log may incorrectly show uninstall status as fail on the non-english os it may also pop a amd software is not responding when the installer launches in the ui when it's clicked so you can see right over here where the chipsets that are going to be supported for both os's and the portion of where we're looking at for the processors that follow along with it as well so I'm definitely digging where we're moving forward with more support. I'm really excited to see where the gaming industry, as well as the workforce of the you know workstations develop with AMD behind some really cool new software. But let's look at some of the scores. And I thought this was great. We look at 3D Mark and they gave us a brand new test to look at. Those tests max threads versus one thread in a scale. And you can see that the brand new driver is on the right, the old driver is on the left. But what you can see that has basically reoccurred in this situation is that some work a little bit better, some don't. It seems like more of a stability update when it comes down to threads. It almost like ties if not loses in certain categories, but it's all about the well-rounded and trying to have a non-hot day because today was a ridiculously hot day in my location so i did multiple tests and these were the medians that i found through these two but let's go ahead and scroll into the next set of scores that we can look at with just this custom score you can see that the cpu takes a little bit of a reduction by 10 points nothing crazy and again these are like standards where we're running across the board for the newer chipsets and drivers now, as you can see, AMD in the last update, what they did with their 21.9.2, it favored 4K. Same thing with NVIDIA and their 472.12. Like, everything is really starting to push towards that 4K mark. And you can see that there is a little bit more when I ran, like, uh, the normal test. And I was like, ah, let me just run them in tandem. And it was really interesting to see this. So, but nothing really super impressive where it's like, groundbreaking and this is just score to score when we're looking at that situation from cpu to cpu and the old update versus the new update so at this point in time that is pretty much your chipset driver it's nothing that's groundbreaking but at the same time it's something that adds stability and it seems like 4k is something that's becoming more of a heavy support now will they get balanced in the future between 2k and 1080p Absolutely, but they're working on multiple projects and I'm very interested to see what happens from 2022 going on to 2023 and what AMD can produce. So everyone, if you're newer to the network, you can always like, share, and subscribe if you're brand new to the network. And I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. Stay safe, stay classy, and I'll see you there.